Hey, hey, you guys. It's your favorite little keto goofball diamond, and today is day, uh, 1711 of my ketogenic journey. It's not much of a keto update, but it is definitely a life update, and we'll be getting into everything in just a minute, including what I know about my keto update. Anyway, you guys, like, subscribe, share, and ring that bell. If you want to follow somebody who's lost 155 pounds, currently stalled, and still loving the keto lifestyle, even though she's not doing perfect with it, because it's changed my life, and I'm still alive, and I wouldn't have been. So anyway, it's time to rant, rave, and misbehave keto diamond style, and I'll explain. So clearly, I don't have a stitch of makeup on. Hmm. This is what my eyebrows really look like. So, wow, that's white. It's white, white. But I do also have conditioner in it right now. So, Cory bleached my hair again just a minute ago. <laughs> and uh, I, I've already washed it out. And I've got a conditioning treatment in there to make sure <laughs> like, my hair doesn't fall out. Well, anyway, <laughs> let's start with today's life update. So, um... I don't have a weigh-in. Hubby had to be at, sur at a surgical appointment at 6 a.m., so I had to get up at 4.30 this morning, get everything ready, and get us out the door. And, oh, y'all, yeah. his battery's dead in his car. we got to figure out what's going on with that. But it's all right. We'll figure it out. <sighs> One thing after another. And uh, so he had his surgery this morning. Um, for those of you who don't know, he had skin cancer on his nose, a rather large spot. If you find a spot that's not healing on your body properly, Go see the doctor immediately. Get it handled ASAP. That way it won't be such a big deal. Um, but anyway, he's lingered. I think he had it for well over a year anyway. And some of it was insurance issues that we didn't get it covered right away. Um, they were having some back and forth stuff going on even though it was approved. And then we had to get it reapproved. It's, it was a whole debacle but anyway today was his final surgery for that which was opening the inside of his nostril his new nostril <laughs> um well this has been a process but this surgery wasn't as major it was only about an hour long of course um, the surgery itself was only an hour long then you had the the whole sedation of waking up funny story yeah i want to see how he said it or try to remember exactly how he said it Okay, so after his surgery, you know, when you have that thing, the tube down your throat and everything, you wake up with a dry mouth and it's sore. So he wanted something good and cold, and I figured we'd just pop into uh, McDonald's drive through and I'd get him like a large Sprite or something with ice in it. Uh, and he started saying he wanted a, a fl flopper, a flopper. I was like, what the hell is that? And he would keep in mind he was just kind of coming around from surgery too. So I was like, I'm in the drive through I'm looking at the menu. I don't see a flipper. I have no idea what the hell he's talking about. And I finally asked the lady, I was like, do, 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 you, do you have a, fl a flopper? I, 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 he's just had surgery. I'm, I'm really not sure. And then I happen to see it on the screen. Oh, he wants a frappe. <laughs> this was a mistake. So he got a caramel frappe, a small one. Just, you know, something that cool as surgery. Get up the road, there's another McDonald's. So we stop and get him a large one, which he wolfs down. He's had four today, y'all. Four. I've been to McDonald's five times, once with Corey. Oh, once for Corey. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, seasonal allergies. Um, but yeah, uh, that, that was like, what the hell is that? I've never heard of that in my entire life. But uh, he has had, he's had it now. Um, four of them. Unfortunately, I also had four um, sugar-free French vanilla iced coffees from there because they're good and I'm stupid. I don't know how much it's going to affect me because I didn't weigh in this morning, but I'll be weighing in tomorrow. I have more time tomorrow, kind of. Uh, so, 
pretty much everything's ready for Destiny's wedding tomorrow. Destiny and Brian, my son's getting married tomorrow to his girlfriend and um, or fiance, I suppose, would be the right word. But uh, we're doing the whole Justice of the Peace thing. But there, it is a dressy affair. Suit, tie, tux, you know, Destiny's got a real wedding dress. Um, and, and I'm going to wear a dress tomorrow, which is why I let Corey dye my hair. <laughs> Again, boy, that's, it's, 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 wow. Wow. See me all these tones of them. That's all right. It's just going, we're just going to wear it like that because I ain't got time for much more tonight. <laughs> But, I mean, oh, another amazing life update, too. Nick and Raina were approved for a home um, to rent, you know, uh, rent. They're renting a home. They get in it on Wednesday. They sign the paperwork and move in or start the move-in process. You know, you got to get lights and all that stuff going on. But, um, wow. So much is about to change. I'm looking forward to it. Wait, I started throwing all kinds of stuff away. My stuff today. I want this place empty, and when we get back from the beach, which we're going to next week, I tell Destiny she's crazy. She's like the only daughter-in-law that wants to take her her in-laws on the honeymoon. <laughs> but they want to. And for those of you who don't know, my son and I, my daughter and Destiny have been best friends since they were like five years old. She's had a crush and been macking on him forever. Um, <laughs> But I never thought my son would actually get married. It's, it was a surprise to all of us. Um, he should, don't get me wrong. They got the kid together, and technically two, because he called her mom too. Um, and his, his uh, biological mom passed away several years ago. So, coming up on four years now. But anyway, they've been together ever since, or a month before that happened. And, uh,. It's been a wild ride, a really wild ride. I hope you can hear me and see me and everything okay. This week is not an easy week. I also have a dentist appointment in the morning and their wedding in the afternoon. It, it's it's going to be strange. <laughs> and then they're moving out the next day and I got to file my taxes this week because it's the last week we got because we're going to the beach next week. <sighs> but I did hear I'm off on Friday. Uh, the whole My whole line's off on Friday so that is awesome um not as far as my paycheck goes but as far as an extra day to get everything ready for the beach because really the monday um not a fan of the beach not a fan of sand gonna be all right though. <laughs> but I'm, I'm very happy for everybody i mean it's it's great but after seeing the house and prices lately i think we're just gonna have to restore this one at least for the time being because they ain't no way in hell I saw a two-bedroom shack that they wanted half a million dollars for, and I was like, "You, got, I'll live in a tent first. I will run a drop cord to a tent. I mean, this is better than a tent. Don't get me wrong. It's simply before I paid that. I mean, this you talking about literally a two-bedroom, 1950s, 60s, small house. And, and in some areas, that might not be bad, but here, that's a $60,000 at best house. I don't care about inflation. No. Um, no, 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 no. So, my face looks fat. Might be the bag. Might be the lack of makeup and age. Might be that I'm feeling fat. And probably was the sugar-free iced coffees that, y'all know how that works. It ain't right. I'm, I'm like dripping everywhere here. I need to get in the shower, get, get this party rolling get everything ready for tomorrow. I'm nervous for them. I want them to have the most amazing day. Poor Destiny was nauseous all day today. Had to get some nausea medicine. Um, but not not the best thing the day before your wedding. And if and now she didn't think it's the stomach virus, but if it is, it's very likely to hit the groom, my son, tomorrow. So we get some more nausea medicine. <laughs> We should try to get this through them. But like every single day that's special to her kind of gets ruined. Or I don't really want to call it ruined because it's just life but and sometimes death. Huh. Her, her first birthday she spent here was Haley's funeral. And it seems like every single year 
something happens. So I want her to have an amazing, special, wonderful day marrying the man of her dreams. Although my son is kind of a little shithead, so I don't get it, but I do get it. He's wonderful. But um, I want her to have an amazing day. And like this wasn't going to be a super dressy affair, but I, I bought a dress, and my husband bought some clothes, and Destiny. At first, she wasn't going to do the whole wedding dress thing, and she decided to do it like last minute and order one off Amazon, and she got so lucky that that thing fit. Because I mean, seriously, you order one at Amazon, you never know what you're going to get. It might be perfect, but it might be too big or too little or anything in the world. So she got lucky, <laughs> and I hope that her luck continues and I just hope she has a blessed and wonderful wonderful wedding day because she deserves one good day I mean seriously and she deserves a good week at the beach because that's one reason she wants us all to go to the beach she's never had a good trip to the beach she's only been a couple times and every time something big has ruined it nothing small I'm not talking about just somebody stubbed their toe and was a little pissy I'm talking about damn cosmic luck huh uh, so she deserves a good wedding day and a good um, honeymoon week with her in-laws. They already got a kid. It's not like it's anything new. Although I don't think I'd want to take my in-laws on my honeymoon at all. Um, technically, this wasn't, I don't think it's supposed to be a honeymoon. It's just a vacation that she wanted the family to go and enjoy each other's company. So we'll see. And... Uh, I'm just, I'm excited all the way around. I'm happy and I hope everything works out. I hope Nick and Raina's home is one of those homes that let them build and grow their family in such a strong and marvelous way. And I hope Destiny and Brian's marriage helps them build and grow their relationship in the strongest way. And it even caused Corey to get a little wedding bug bite. So they're talking about it again. Um, it's never that it hasn't been off the table. They just haven't done it. So, you know. I might have two married kids for the end of this year. I don't even know. <laughs> um, but I'm happy about it. And I'm hoping just good and marvelous and wonderful things come from all of it. And that all of you watching are having the time of your life somehow. I don't care if it's just watching funny cat videos. As long as you're laughing and enjoying yourself, fun is fun. <laughs> so, okay. Sorry about this not being a keto video, but I didn't get on the scale. I didn't even have time this morning. I was like running around and, and just trying to make sure I had everything and yeah everything worked out everything's great hubby's feeling good they put splints in his nostril just to make sure it doesn't like close shut um, he'll have those taken out in a couple weeks don't worry we're not getting in the ocean with that nose like that plus it's, it's really not gonna be warm enough to be getting in that ocean I don't think just yet but um, might walk through some muddy water you know sandy water <laughs> and hope not to get knocked down by a road wave that's using my luck, but I'm going to try not to because I don't want to be cold. Uh, <laughs> anyway, guys, I uh, wish everybody luck. Wish everybody blessings, joys, happinesses, and all the good and wonderful things that can come into your life. And I hope your keto journey, your weight loss journey, your just regular life's journey, if you're not doing none of that, is freaking fantastic. So, that's all I got for you. If you guys would like to support the channel in any way, shape, or form, there's a ton of stuff down there in the description that will let you do that. Uh, you can get some Keto Diamond merch. I need to design some better merch, to be honest with you. <laughs> but have a look at it. You might find something you like. And there's some other cool stuff down there. So, without further ado, much love, many prayers. Make your next Mojito and enjoy your life. Bye, y'all.